Hello YouTube people. Let me show you this wonderful steel dive marine master. So this watch is very impressive. <laughs> Seriously impressive. Seiko did great great design on this Seiko tuna. Well this is steel dive this is basically a clone uh, you can call it a homage right <laughs> but uh, speaking of the quality of the steel dive itself it's very good clone <laughs> very good quality at least my example i saw a lot of uh, videos on youtube uh, complaining that the bezel was stiff or some other problems or some edges were rough but i don't know i, I guess i just got lucky and my example has no flaws whatsoever like bezel has no back play it turns very easily crown screws beautifully nice no ed no sharp edges everything feels well finished i mean i'm happy with my purchase <laughs> and speaking of the bezel i saw the most complaints were about the bezel it was super stiff and people actually put their fingers into those edges trying to operate the bezel but this one is just like it's so 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 easy well i i guess i i won the aliexpress lottery <laughs> this one is good one <laughs> and everything well i'm not an expert you know my eyes aren't really that trained but you can see by yourself if, if everything is aligned nicely and to my eyes everything seems all right and it looks amazing i mean seriously look at it uh, this is sapphire glass and it has a blue anti-reflective coating it kind of looks okay it looks good at, at some angles yeah you can see that uh, very sharp blue tint but outside in the sunlight it is a little bit problematic i i did a photo shoot photo session with this watch and this watch is amazing photo model it is wonderful photo model you can make bad photos but they all still gonna look kind of impressive because of the subject itself is provoking provoking questions what is this and it's it's great it's wonderful so i was doing photo session outside and there was a problem that uh, in the sunlight i tried to capture the angle of of the watch that i would uh, see the light on the dial but every time i i do this uh, the uh, the sapphire glass with this blue coating it kind of looks hazy with a blue haze you can almost never see clearly the dial itself all you see is just that blue haze most of the time and i as i speak i'm gonna show you those pictures and you also can find those pictures on my instagram the link is in the description and it kind of uh, I would personally prefer with hold on a second my cats are playing never mind my cat got a toy and got out of the room <laughs> it's, it's fine so uh, I would prefer it that if if it wouldn't have any anti-reflective coating hold on a second sorry so in my belief, I believe it would look better without anti-reflective coating. But it's all personal preference. But I'm telling you, when I was doing the photo shoot of this watch, it was kind of difficult to get a good shot of the dial itself. What I got was just a hazy blue look on the glass. And you can see in those pictures I'm currently showing you so yeah uh, but still it looks great it looks great it looks different at some angles you see wow it has some bluish tint that 
that's kind of cool looks fine and the bezel is ceramic bezel it looks very very nice it's shiny and it's all the bezel itself is flat it looks very good and speaking again about that sapphire crystal it is domed a little bit i hope you can see look look at the chapter ring on the edge you see how it gets distorted that's because it is domed the glass oh you can see a little by the way look at the body of the watch i have used this watch uh, i and i'm not saving my watches i, I don't wear them very carefully so it already has some scratches not the major ones but you know what's good this finish is brushed not polished and it's much easier to repair such small scratches of a brushed finish you, you basically take either a very very fine sandpaper or just a wall and rub it off by the direction of the current uh, brushing and it's gonna be fine it looks tough this watch like a tank it feels like a tank on the hand very tough and it is just i love it incredible watch it as i said it provokes emotion like if you're gonna conquer the world this is the watch you're gonna wear on your hand <laughs> And by the way, sorry, this is custom strap, but about that I will explain you a little bit later. By the way, this strap on this watch, for me, looks the best. So, this watch is not for every day, I would say. This hardly can be your everyday watch. You know why? It's, it's, it's very impressive. I mean, a little bit too impressive at some points it doesn't leave any person with a uh, meh you know, you know there are a lot of watches where people could look at and meh that's not one of those this watch doesn't leave anyone with meh <laughs> everyone has a question about this watch what is this thing it provokes inner child in everyone Everyone wants to touch it. Everyone wants to see it up close. What is this thing? And everyone is <laughs> trying how heavy it is. It's so amazing. I mean, I, I love it. But that's the thing. It kind of, you know, it's for those days where you wake up in the morning so well rested. It's so you feel fresh, full of energy. The sun is shining. And you are like, uh, today I am going to conquer the world. <laughs> I'm gonna do all list of my <laughs> to-do lists. <laughs> okay. And the watch you're gonna put on that day is this watch. This is energy. This watch is energy. It's just like you have to synchronize with your watch you are putting on in the morning. You know, if you wake up and feeling... Eh, kind of you know it it all depends it all depends so you kind of apply the watch uh, by the way you feel and this watch represents those days where you wake up like wow oh my god this is the day i am gonna do big things <laughs> i'm gonna conquer the world and you instantly without even thinking open the drawer and without even thinking, you grab this watch and put it on your hand. That's what it is. This watch is con conqueror. <laughs> conqueror. For never mind <laughs> my English. Sorry. So, what I am trying to tell you, this watch gives you such a good emotion, but you have to, you know, start the day already with a good emotion because otherwise if you feel a little bit down 
a little bit lethargic, like sun is not shining, it is raining. And, uh, this watch might not be for you that day. And it's, it's very special. It feels special. This watch is like, I would compare it if you like, if you have a sports car. You like, you have one family car and you, for example, have one sports car. The thing is that you have two cars because you can't really drive your sports car every day. It's ridiculous. It's not comfortable. It's bouncy. It, you feel all the holes on the road. It's loud. It's, it's it just, if you drive it every day, it gives you a headache. You, you put that car in your garage and you cover it with a blanket. And it, here comes the sunny Sunday morning. You come into the garage, uncover your beautiful sports car, whatever it is, Mazda MX-5, Ferrari F40, doesn't matter. I'm speaking about the emotion. And you took out that car and oh, you enjoy it. That's what it is. This is that watch, that emotion. It's not your everyday daily driver, not your daily, daily watch. No, 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 no. Don't make a mistake. Some people actually drive Ferraris every day. Uh, yeah, fine, fine by me. <laughs> I like seeing them on the road. The more, the, met, the better. But you get the point. You get the point. This is special. It's not your everyday watch. And that's like very high on the scale of happiness I could put for this one. It provokes a child, not just in me. It provokes a child in everyone who sees this watch on your hand. It's amazing. I mean, and speaking of the size, wow, it provokes that emotion and all because they think you are wearing the watch which is too big for you. And no, it looks big, kinda. But the thing is, uh, this design is very smart. And those lugs, the, this, well, uh, the way how big the watch looks on your hand doesn't depend on the diameter of the watch as much as it depends on the distance from lug to lug. And look carefully at this watch. It is, yeah, it's big, but the distance from lug to lug is not big. And by the way, I will give you measurements later on. And those lugs are kind of getting into the body itself. Look, come on camera, focus. You see those lugs are not going out of the body too much. And that's why it feels very well sized on the hand, even though the diameter of the watch itself is rather big. So you can see uh, the size of my wrist in the description, I have measured it. And on my hand, I can tell you, it just fits sweet, perfect, perfection. When, you, when I put it on the hand and you know, look straight to the watch, uh, there is a gap between the watch body and the end of my wrist on the top and on the left by the, the size of my finger. Like I put the watch on my hand and if I look from the top, I can fit my, my finger on this side and this side and it doesn't go over the wrist still. So, and especially if you look, if you look at the mirror, like, look, Okay, let me put it on. Okay, here it is on. And you see, you can find the, the size of my wrist in the description. And you see how it looks like on my wrist. It doesn't look big. It doesn't look big at all. It, it's fine. It fits inside the width of my wrist without a problem. Perfectly fine. Yeah, it's thick and all, but such is design. Wow, man, <laughs> I love it, I love it. Oh, you can see, I'm so happy with this watch. It just won't <laughs> feel like a child. Oh, that's, that's what it's all about. Those watches are supposed to make us happy. And this watch is like, oh my God. And it fits me this day, today. I woke up fully rested, full of energy. I hit the gym and 
was just yeah lightweight baby and wow this watch fits me today like couldn't be better i mean i i it's hard to think of any other watch that could fit me today better my mood well maybe maybe a g-shock but you know g-shock is so universal that it fits basically any day well g-shock could easily be your everyday watch without a problem but this one is a little bit more special to be honest <laughs> and sorry about cat hair everywhere because i have two long hair cats you know cat hair is everywhere well, <laughs> what you cannot do <laughs> by the way you can see my cats uh, on the instagram link in the description my cats have their own instagram <laughs> i love photography i love taking pictures of watches of cats so if you are like me consider subscribing <laughs> my instagram <laughs> so and by the way don't be mad at me that i don't don't follow you back on instagram uh, this is not my main account I might follow you back on my other account and okay you get the point so this watch wonderful and there is one thing all sellers on Aliexpress there is a problem with them they all give you different measurements so to make things right I gonna give you exact measurements of this watch how it is okay well, on average, I would say of out of my measurements, the diameter is 47, 47 millimeters and uh, the lug to lug distance, which is actually more important because it tells you how the watch feel wears on the hand, how big it wears on the hand and lug to lug, it is 44.2 and Let's just measure another size, just, just in case. 44.2. Yeah, so lug to lug is not that big. I'll give you some comparisons. Like, okay, let's take this G-Shock. And how do I measure it now? Well, let's measure the bezel itself. Lug to lug G-Shock is 48.6. Even G-Shock, wait, 46.8? 44.3 so it's smaller than a square g-shock and let's take well invicta pro diver okay automatic invicta pro diver lug to lug 48 millimeters and this one yet again 44.3 i mean this watch it's it look look it looks bigger than Invicta oh definitely but you know what it kind of wears on your hand almost smaller but because the face is so big it kind of well basically wears the same as almost the same size as Invicta that's that, that's great design of a watch wonderful design and okay let's finish with measurements another measure is the what kind of bracelets and straps you're gonna put it the width is it is it 20 or 22 millimeters it is 22 millimeters lug width is 22 millimeters okay so how fat it is and how fat it is let me see by the way i'm not afraid to scratch it it's a sapphire crystal uh, no problem uh the fat 40 14 millimeters point six 14 point six let me measure it again how fat how thick it is 14.6 millimeters and just quickly in comparison by the way it feels very good on your hand very very stable for example listen victor has this huge belly and it feels very top heavy it doesn't feel as good as this steel dive and so let's measure the thickness of Invicta as well without the Cyclop without the Cyclop Invicta is 13.6 and this one yet again 14.6 so even though it is thicker it wears 
uh, a little little bit slimmer than Invicta because it doesn't have such a huge belly and it has short distance from leg to leg and it sits just so stable on hand it is so stable it just hugs my wrist perfectly fine where for example this Invicta Pro Diver those lugs of Invicta are hanging up in the air it sits on the belly well it's good on the hot day of summer but it kind of you know it always feels top heavy even though it is slimmer it feels it feels thicker this one is just such a great design i mean wonderful it... okay what else let me show you uh, the original bracelet and other options and by the way speaking of changing straps um, I'm gonna show you this the original one I'm gonna show you this fat rubber strap and this this is wonderful by the way this is actually 20 millimeter strap not 22 but it is so fat that you can't really tell if there is any gap I bought this strap on eBay for several euros and it is amazing quality is just so good I've been wearing it quite a lot and no no problems great strap I I don't know three euros maybe if you want the link just ask me and I will try to find it again and it will give you the link to eBay where I bought this strap and speaking of changing straps uh, this watch uh, has holes in those lugs come on come on focus focus yeah you see there are holes it's so easy to change the strap it's just you simply that's it so so good okay put something else here is this black strap I don't even remember where I got it I bought some used watch and I also got this strap together with the watch this is 22 millimeter strap it is very thick and that's how it looks like personally me I'm not a fan of those rubber straps but this is the only watch that this strap actually works with at least for me let's put it on nah nah don't like it I take take back my watch no it looks good though the problem is it doesn't feel that good on the hand fat straps don't sit well on my wrist for some reason nah not for me let's put on the original bracelet and here is the original bracelet i must say it looks amazing absolutely incredible it fits this watch so well this design this fat heavy bulky manly bracelet together with this watch is just amazing great combo and i bought it with this bracelet but but um it is not very good bracelet it feels like it is not finished like it it has skipped some final processing uh, part in production you know why because it has a lot of edges this bracelet and they all are sharp it's like they cut the metal put together into the bracelet and that's it sold no final brushing no final refining edges and now all edges are sharp even the clasp the clasp also has sharp edges and yes this bracelet is solid solid handlings 
But for example, Invicta bracelet feels so much better. All those edges are so uh, not great as well, but way way better made. Uh, all edges are better refined, and these edges are sharp. And when you put it on your hand, it kind of occasionally pinches a hair, but on rare occasions, but still. And on the hand, if you slide the watch or back and forth, yeah, you can feel it's a little bit like a sandpaper. <laughs> but if you wear in one position all day long, it's all right. I, I, I can wear it. Can't really complain too much. It's fine. It looks very good. And yeah, it could be a little bit more refined, but eh, for this price, come on. It's good. At least it's solid. <laughs> and it looks amazing. I mean, yeah, really. Really good. So, here is it. I, by the way, by the way, let me show you. It has arrived in this box. It's like. Oh, come on, let me. How do I open this? All oh, those sides have locks as well. So that's how it arrived. And yeah, it was very well protected. If you're buying it to someone as a present, it's a great gift box as well. <laughs> so is it a good watch? What do I think about it? This wonderful watch, it's amazing. If you have the money and can buy the original Seiko, great for you. If you're trying to just buying like a weekend watch, just for fun, you don't want to spend too much. Amazing choice, great watch. I do highly, highly recommend this watch. <laughs> uh, by the way, it is Seiko NH35 moment inside. Runs great, time is accurate as well. That's it. Thanks for watching. Until the next video. Goodbye.